Hello, boys and girls. I hope that you have had a wonderful week. Uh, if you go to school, I hope that you had a great week at school. And I hope that the past few weeks you've been able to enjoy some of the beautiful snow that God sent to us. Uh, uh, by the time you see this, we might possibly have some additional snow here. I know you're hoping for that. And I hope that you can have something to be able just to go out and play. And mom and dad and everyone can be safe. We got a wonderful story for you today out of the Bible. Talking about here after Noah and his sons and their wives. That uh, after they had been through and experienced the flood. And the waters now had receded or they had gotten lower. And uh, it was now safe for Noah and his uh, family to uh, leave the ark. And uh, so we're going to see a promise that God made uh, to Noah. And not only to Noah, uh, he made it to the whole world. And we still see evidence of how God uh, continues to uh, uh, reemphasize and to show us the same promise that Noah and his family saw as the water receded uh, there. So boys and girls, let me uh, share this with you. And if your uh, uh, parents or grandparents or uh, someone wants to, uh, to get your Bible down, you can look in the book of Genesis uh, chapter 8 and chapter 9 that you can find this. Uh, so uh, listen to this story, if you would, boys and girls. But God remembered... Noah and all the wild animals and livestock with him in the boat. God did not forget them. He did not just close the door on the ark and then leave them alone. God remembered them and, and God put his protective hand around them, no doubt. He sent a wind to blow across the earth. God can control the wind, boys and girls, and the storms and all the other things. God, God is all powerful. And he also told the floodwaters to recede or to get lower and lower and lower to where then there would be dry ground for uh, Noah and his family uh, and all the animals to exit their ark. <clears throat> and really the world would start over again. Then God told Noah and his sons, I hereby confirm my covenant with you and your descendants. In other words, God said, I am making a promise to you and to all your children and their children's children and so forth. Even to this day, God's promise remains intact. And he said, I'm going to make that promise to you and with all the animals that were on the boat with you. All the birds, all the livestock, and all the wild animals, every living creature on the earth, Yes, I am confirming my covenant with you or my promise to you. Never again will floodwaters kill all living creatures. Listen to what God said. Never. It will never happen again like it did in Noah's day. Never again will I flood and destroy the earth. Then God said, I am giving you a sign of my covenant with you and with all living creatures for all generations to come. I have placed my rainbow in the clouds. Boys and girls, have you ever seen a rainbow? I have. I've saw many. Sometimes you see it, what I call a double rainbow. You have a rain, uh, you have one rainbow and then right under it will be another one or right on top of the one you begin to see, another one will form. It's God. God continued to remind us that never again am I going to send such a flood to this earth and uh, to, to that degree ever again. And God has continued to reaffirm that promise uh, to all of us. And God placed something so beautiful. I hope that you really see and notice just how beautiful the rainbow really is and all the colors uh, boys and girls, have you ever colored a rainbow? I have. And have you ever drawn one and then you colored it and you could see just how beautiful it was. And God usually sends that after a storm. That is that God is saying, it, it may have been a storm. It may have been a pretty strong storm, but it was nothing like Noah and his family experienced. And I will not send another one like that. 
So here's what God did. He said, I placed my rainbow in the clouds. It is a sign of my covenant with you and with all the earth. When I send clouds over the earth, the rainbow will appear in the clouds. And listen to what God said. God said, I will remember my covenant with you and with all the living creatures. Never again will the floodwaters destroy all life. When I see the rainbow in the clouds, God said, I will remember the eternal covenant between God and every living creature on this earth. Then God said this to Noah. Yes, Noah, this rainbow is the sign of my promise. I am confirming this promise with you, with your sons and their wives and your wife. I am confirming that promise that I have made that never, ever again will I send such a damaging flood as Noah and his family went through. But God protected them, boys and girls. Can you just think about it? Uh, we talked about it last Saturday, uh, how God uh, took care of all the animals. He took care of Noah and, uh, and all of his family. Uh, and uh, God protected all every species of animal. He provided just the amount of food that they needed and God watched over them. He watched over them as the ark floated, and it went all over. We're not sure exactly what kind of distance that the, that the ark traveled, but we know that God uh, moved the ark as he needed to. And as the floodwaters began to recede, God would place that ark at just the right spot to where then the earth would dry, the land would dry up, and that God would tell Noah and his family at just the right time of when they could exit or leave the ark and could unload all the animals. And then God placed that beautiful, beautiful rainbow in the sky. Still yet to this day in 2022, God is still putting a rainbow in the sky just to remind us just how much I love you and that you can count on the promises that our Heavenly Father makes to us. God loves you, boys and girls. He loves your moms and dads and your grandparents and all your relatives and your friends. He loves every one of us and he cares for us. And his hand is at work in each of our lives taking care of us. So boys and girls, please do not forget that God loves you and God's there and he's going to take care of you. So boys and girls, I hope that this day finds you good, that you're well, and that you are enjoying the, all the activities that sometimes wintertime brings to us. Boys and girls, let's, let's say a prayer before, we, before I leave you. Let's pray if we can. Heavenly Father, I thank you, Lord, for the promises that you have made and continue to make in each of our lives. And how, Father, you, you looked after Noah and all of his family, but also you looked after all the creations that you have made, and that is uh, the animals that, that you caused to go to the ark and for Noah and his, and his uh, sons to take on board. And Lord, as the waters receded, Lord, uh, not only did, did you guide that ark to dry land, but you watched after them and you, and you helped them to land at just the right place at just the right time so that they could be safe. Lord, I know that you're guiding the ship or the ark of our life. Each of the boys and girls and, uh, and each one of us as adults, you're guiding us if we would just let you. So Lord, I thank you for this day. Thank you for that beautiful rainbow that you place in the sky from time to time after a storm. We can look up in the sky and we can say, Jesus loves me. He cares for me. And he cares for my family. And that's God's promise. So don't ever forget that, boys and girls. We ask all these things in Christ's name. Amen. Boys and girls, have a great day. And have fun if it happens to be snowing. If not, maybe we'll get some snow later on this year. 
God bless you. See you next week.